Hello to all my friends out there. And this video is Find Cheaper Alternatives. So I'm still on eating out breakfast at the Pancake House for $9.98, eating out steak dinners, and $10 for a steak dinner is a good deal. I'd go there too. But, but that's not the point, you know. You know, if you don't have that much money, you want to conserve your money. So, okay, I wanted to mention something to you guys. My, um... Oh, the light is so lousy. My Cara Barrett sold, and as soon as I finished the video, and not only did it sell, they already sent the money, but I have to move it away from the grease because it would be so bad, you know, or if something happened to it. Okay, and so um, I accepted an offer of $12 in my Cara Barrett. And I know some of you um, do the eBay too, so I want to mention why I did that. Okay, those barrettes retail for uh, $38, and I accepted a bid of $12 and something cents. Because when I used to do the swap meet, when I first started, I would be very um, buyer friendly, you know, so people, and I am getting repeat business, which I love. And I give them a good deal. Okay, this, I think you guys have seen this guy before. This is a, a hand-carved alligator or um, a crocodile. I'm not sure if it's an alligator or a crocodile. These are a bit expensive. So, okay, so what I did is I, I purposely stocked about 10 of these in my freezer. Uh, you saw the videos. And one of the things that's good about these is you can go, well, I can have a little uh, pancake breakfast. It's probably not going to be as good as the pancake house, but it'll do. And then, okay, I messed this up royally. This stuff is called Classico seasoning. And so I decided to put a little bit on my puffy eggs okay so the only trick to puffy eggs to get them puffy is now let me try this see the seasoning on there that's good that's chili powder and um, lime that's good on eggs and then uh, on these sausages you could put them back into a sandwich but the, the thing on these uh, foods is be careful when you heat them. That's not bad. The pancakes take one minute and the sausage takes about two minutes. And so I have a tea sampler. I bought this at 99 cent only. Georgia peach tea. I already put the sugar in. I've been working already this morning. And then, you know, I still have almond milk. And so what I'm going to be doing now, I posted the stockpile. And I'm basically not going to be buying any food until I eat all the stockpile food up. All of it. I don't want it hanging around. Plus, I don't want to spend any money unless I absolutely, totally, and come on, let me taste these pancakes. I already have the Dollar Tree pancakes, not in these little sandwiches. I stockpiled one of these. So the idea is on one side of the freezer, you know, I put about, I'm going to get about 10 or 20. Also another thing, you know, you want to steak dinner, you know you really shouldn't, but you just so happen to have bought one quarter pounder uh, and got one free. And so, you know, you can have a quarter pounder and chances are if you... Uh, eat it. It's going to be pretty satisfying. Their quarter pounders are delicious, especially when I, I stockpile salsa. 
So, you know, if you're new, this is good. If you're new to uh, stockpiling, this is how I do it. I buy food that, you know, I can tolerate. Um, I, I try to keep one in the freezer, one in the refrigerator. And then I use this in my eggs. In the puffy eggs, I just added a little milk, two eggs, and and I, I had some margarine in a pan and I covered the eggs. Those didn't go very puffy. I don't know what I did. And then I put a little of the seasoning on top. So, okay, you know, instead of um, wrecking your budget. And then I was at 99 cent only uh, getting some um, lettuce. And I saw this and I go, ooh, that looks good. Uh, you know what is really good? Um, when you make tuna casserole, uh, you just put the tuna in the macaroni and cheese. And so I have all that tuna in the stockpile. And I only had one macaroni and cheese, so I thought, I will try this. And this is a good brand, but now this one doesn't have a really long expiration date, August 2018. So, and I only had one, so I go, okay, this will work out. I will eat this one first. Ooh. So, okay, you guys, find cheaper alternatives. Don't wreck your budget. Uh, going out once in a while is is totally and completely necessary. I mean, life, if, if you're so thrifty that uh, life, you have no fun. You know, my poor father-in-law, he died maybe a month after he started. They had all these fun plans, tons of fun plans, and he had a massive stroke and was confined to a wheelchair for like 15, 16 years. And my poor husband did the patient care. And then my dad dropped dead at 66 years old. So I insist on having a good time. So, okay, I will be back later. I'm making some egg salad and some soda bread. And God bless you all.